Good morning people. Today my lecture is on the chapter auditing. So what do we understand by auditing? Something uh, that is checked, it's audited. We know what auditors are. So we'll take a brief on this now. This is the definition of audit. It refers to a systematic and independent examination of books accounts, documents, and vouchers of an organization to ascertain how far the financial statements present a true and fair view of the concern. It also attempts to ensure that the books of accounts are properly maintained by the concern as required by law. So what does an auditor basically do? The auditor checks the financial records of an organization to see if it is correct, if it is, uh, if there is any base, it checks if it is correct. They can also check any error in it. They can come out with any error in it to, to avoid it again. Auditing generally in companies and big companies which are registered under the Companies Act is required by law. These are the objectives. Why is auditing done? The primary objective, secondary objective, specific. We understand primary something that is their primary focus. To see if financial statements give a truthful account, if it is correct. Secondary, they can detect errors in it. They can uh, come up with preventive measures. They can come up with prevention of errors and any kind of fraud. They can give recommendations. Specific, if it is done for any specific purpose. If it is uh, only for management, only for financial statement. So there may be uh, audits done for specific purposes as well. Internal control something which is understandable, which an organization does internally. We have uh, heard about control in our previous, rather we have uh, come to know what kind of controls uh, can organizations have. Audit can also be done internally. So let's see here. Internal control is a process effective by the management designed to provide reasonable assurance regard, sorry, regarding the achievement of objectives in the following categories. So why can internal control or why can internal audit be done? Reliability of financial reporting. Whatever is being reported to the auditor, whether it is reliable, whether the auditor will found it truthful. For this, an internal auditing can be done, a control can be there. Effectiveness and efficiency of operations how is the organization working? How effective it is? Compliance with applicable laws and regulations? Why is internal control needed and how can it help? It minimizes the risk of frauds and errors? Certainly it would because there is a control in the organization, control system in the organization, definitely any fraud or error would be checked internally and it minimizes. When people know that there is an effective control, they would be cautious not to make any errors or, or, or they would avoid fraud. Safeguard resources against any misuse. Promotes operational efficiency and prevents wastages. Definitely, it gives optimal utilization of resources prevents any financial irregularities by detecting them quickly. What kind of internal controls uh, in an organization can be? There are two types. One is accounting control, the other is administrative. Accounting control can be of budgetary control, standard costing and deviation analysis, internal check, internal audit, bank reconciliation. Budgetary control, you have made a budget, so 
you can check if you are going as per the budget it is compared with budget and you can come to know if there is any deviation standard costing and deviation analysis if there is any difference or any deviation from the average that you want to have if there is any deviation that can be checked internal checks internal audit bank reconciliation administrative control time studies motion studies quality control etc time studies is something that the time taken if there is specific work that needs to be done how much time an employee can take doing that work that is recorded so the management comes comes to know how much time an employee has taken to this specific specific work and how it could have been done faster or uh, does it really need this much of time which the employee has taken motion studies record the body language of the employee as well so it really uh, checks the body language of the employee and they by doing these time studies and motion studies they can the management can come up with better uh, training they can give better training to uh, employees to perform better quality control we understand it however the auditor should review the system of internal control before starting for audit as this confirms the weaknesses of the system if any and it gives an idea of the amount of work to be performed by the auditor to come, come to a conclusion so auditor when the auditor audits uh, the books of accounts or any specific audit that has to be done before that they can review the internal internal system of an organization once they have checked the details they know how much work has to be done how much how much they have to check how much they have to be uh, cautious while uh, auditing the records if the internal control is effective they would know they would know that uh, they really can rely on it if it is not if it is weak they have to work more hard they have to be more cautious there are certain techniques for evaluation of internal control system there is an oral approach which is done orally memorandum approach this kind of approach gives a, a report in writing this is a formal report that is sent internal control questionnaire questionnaires are given to employees so they can answer in yes or no this this gives an idea to the auditor about how the internal control system is flow chart this is a graphic representation internal audit and external audit by now we understand the basic difference between internal and external audit internal auditing is an independent objective assurance and consulting activity designed to add value and improve an organization's operations certainly it is done only sorry it is done only internally for the organization to know how effective the control is how effectively they are working it helps an organization accomplish its objectives by bringing a systematic disciplined approach to evaluate and improve the effectiveness of risk management control and governance processes yes it does it gives an if it tells an organization how effective it is how their management is working what is the control if is their control system effective this is a uh, 
This is basically uh, the definition given by Interna International Professional Practices Framework, the Institute of Internal Auditors Research Foundation. This is the definition for internal auditing. Why is internal audit done? We have done, we have uh, seen it before. Detection of errors and frauds should be free from any conflict of interest. Review of operations. Verifying the authenticity of financial statement. Detecting weak areas and suggesting improvements. Why should internal audit be free from any conflict of interest? Because if there is conflict of interest, the true, the true side of the thing which is being audited, probably if it is management being audited, the true side may not come out in open. So it should be free from any conflict of interest. Review of operations. There are certain examples, CAG com, uh, and uh, Satyam scam. We all know the CAG scam which happened through, uh, during Commonwealth Games and then Satyam scam wherein the auditors were unable to detect the fraud in the financial statements. Detecting weak areas and suggesting improvements. Safeguarding of assets. These particular objectives can well become the importance if adhered to with care. Certainly, there is an objective with which internal auditing is done. If it is good enough, it can certainly become the importance of this particular ob audit. External audit. A thorough review of ledgers and other accounting records of a company by accounting professionals not employed by that company in order to verify the, that the accounting records are accurate and complete. This may be done this may be done by law. This is required by law and is done on behalf of the shareholders. Within companies, internal auditing certainly can be done. But as I mentioned earlier, there can be conflict of interest sometimes. The Satyam scam wherein the financial records were manipulated, the financial statements were manipulated for some time, could not be located by the internal auditors. Why? We can say that they were negligent, we can say that they were uh, they couldn't find it out or they were complacent. They were uh, in agreement with the fraudsters. So that is the reason an external audit is done. External audit is a requirement by the government of India and it is done by external auditors. This is done by external people, not from within the company, who audit the records of the company. Okay, so let's see the difference between internal and external audit. Internal auditor is appointed by the management it's an internal employee probably who does the auditing external auditor is employed by shareholders the shareholders of a company uh, appoint the external shareholder uh, external auditor legally internal audit is not required external audit is compulsory internal auditor is employee of the company external auditor is not Specific qualification is not compulsory for internal auditor while compulsory for external. You simply cannot become an auditor like that. You may be a, you have to have a CA degree. Internal auditor may not submit a report. External has to submit. Remuneration for internal auditor is fixed by management while external auditors is fixed by shareholders. 
internal audit is a continuous process yeah it happens on a daily basis you go to the office anything that is not uh, okay probably not is a prob it is against the company's rules the internal checks that are there in the company they stop you from doing that so it is a continuous process it happens on a daily basis external is conducted after preparation of accounts this is done at the end of the financial year around it sometimes in March of it starts from February internal auditor can be removed by management external auditor may be removed by shareholders only let's see the different types of audits here based on organizational structure statutory audit required by law, done by companies, joint stock companies, and uh, cooperative societies. Private audit, maybe by a partnership firm, by a sole proprietor who is the sole owner of the business. Government audit, these are the government departments, various departments, various ministries, which get an audit done. This is the government audit. This is how the Comptroller Auditor General of India uh, came up with the CAG scam, came up with the Com Commonwealth scam, came up with the Colgate scam. So these, this is how, when they check the financial records of the government, this is how they came up. Uh, the coffin scam, there was uh, a coffin scam during the Kargil War. So this is how the government uh, ministries or departments are also monitored by the Comptroller Auditor General of India. Based on timing and scope of audit procedure, continuous, internal control, internal audit is continuous, okay, internal interim final audit. Interim is between the final audit and the internal audit. It is done final audit at the end of the financial year. Based on specific objective behind the audit, cost checking the cost if there is any variance you keep an organization can produce a good in two or three rupees and can sell it for 20 30 maybe 40 rupees if there is no cost audit so the auditor checks the cost as well special audit any specific kind of audit tax management audit the management of the organization for which audit is done. Operational, marketing, environmental, whether you are adhering to the environment laws of the, uh, of the uh, country. Social, human resources, energy. Are you using the uh, electricity, any kind of energy that you are using, are you using it properly? Your human resources, are you treating your human resources effectively? Are you treating them properly? Will you describe briefly other types of audit? Statutory, as I said, it is uh, uh, done by companies that are registered under the uh, Companies Act. John Stock Cooperatives, private, by a sole proprietor or, par in, uh, or a partnership firm. Government. Audit done is various government departments and ministries. Continuous, something which is continuous, which happens on a regular basis. Internal audit, audit done by a personal appointment by management. Interim, it's a draft kind of thing. It is prepared between the final audit, before the final audit is prepared. This can be checked by the auditor to review if what kind of audit has the organization done internally. Final audit conducted towards the end of the year. Balance sheet to verify the items in the balance sheet. You say that you have assets worth 3 lakh crore and this is in your balance sheet while the auditor finds out something else. So this is why the balance sheet is verified. Cost audit. It audits the cost accounting plans of an organization. Special audit. Audit ordered by the central government on a company. There may be sometimes when the government thinks that the company is not following the rules, so they can order a special audit uh, on the company. Uh, uh, 
uh, on behalf of the government, this is ordered by the central government. If they think that the company is uh, some some kind of uh, error is being made, uh, some kind of fraud is be happening in the company. Tax, to find out the tax to be paid by an organization. Management audit, to evaluate the performance of management functions. Operational audit, internal audit to assess the efficiency of various areas of management. Marketing, to identify the marketing problems faced and taking remedial actions. Marketing is also an, a department, so you can do auditing for that as well to see what problem is being faced by during marketing of a specific product. Then you can take actions against it. Environment audit, audit to confirm if the company is adhering to the environment laws of the country. Social audit to measure, understand, report and improve an organization's social and ethical performance. CSR, which is something uh, corporate citizenship it is called. So companies, whatever, how they give back to the society. So what exactly are they giving back to the society because they are getting much from us from us as society what are they giving back in return that is called corporate citizenship so for that also audit can be done as in how much they are assisting the society HR audited audit reviews policies and procedures in an organization energy audit to find out if the energy resources are being used optimally so uh, these are the kinds of some kinds of audit that can be done in or in an organization however even with rigorous audits and checks multi caro scams are happening satyam scam is a good example of financial fraud where the auditors were not able to spot the manipulation in the company's accounts the reason for this may be negligence incompetence or greed for business the auditors may also sometimes be complacent, but they are not detectives. They may not be able to detect cleverly manipulated account. So this comes down to doing business ethically. We certainly have auditors who check the financial records of a company, who check everything for a company. But if it is manipulated, as I said earlier, if as the Satyam uh, records were. They were showing profits for few years when the company was actually in loss and the auditor couldn't recognize it. So it's really to see if the auditor was negligent, if they were incompetent, although it was uh, Waterhouse uh, auditors that were auditing this company. However, it can also be said that they were complacent, that they didn't really want this to come out in the open. And when it came out, uh, the Satyam founder, Raju, uh, his first name is, he was, he had rather he is now in prison because this is absolutely fraud. So ultimately, it comes on doing business ethically, morally. If you are ethical, you would see that all your departments are working efficiently, efficiently and ethically as well. This is about it people. We have seen today about auditing. These are some of the questions here. And uh, that's it from me. Uh, Thank you very much for listening today. Bye.